Valentine's Day. I feel like as much as we've progressed recently on our attitudes around relationships and maybe not putting as much pressure on ourselves to be in relationships, I do still think that there are pressures at times. And recently on a dating app, I saw on someone's profile, it said, you should not go out with me if you like to wear a lot of makeup. And I generally am of the mindset that women should do whatever they want. And so in honor of Valentine's Day 2020, I'm gonna do whatever I want. And I'm gonna make a beautiful, fun, kind of quirky makeup look based around makeup that dudes don't understand. Skin has been done already. I am going to curl my lashes before I put eyeshadow on because sometimes the shadow will transfer onto the curler. I always try to curl the lashes uh, on a naked eye. This is the Kosas 10 second eyeshadow and these are liquid shadows and they're really cool. You gotta shake them before you use them. And this is my favorite shade. This is Waterfall and I'm taking this directly from the doe foot and I'm painting on just to that extent. And then I'm using my finger to gently blend. If I kept it like this, which is super pretty, I have a really nice wash all over the lid. And this is pretty much set already. It's turned from a full on liquid to like an eyeshadow that's dried down. But I am gonna take a little bit more because I wanna pack, I love this baby blue. I just want it all to be a little bit more pigmented, especially in the center of the lid. And I'm using this synthetic eye brush from Rowan Beauty. This is the everything eye brush, just to blend the edges out and see what I'm doing. I have to fan this to let it set while my eye is closed because if you open your eye while this is still setting, then you have a crease. And this is, these liquid type shadows, these formulas dry down and they're gonna dry down in whatever um, placement they're in at you know that given moment that it dries. So I wanna let it rest like this. This is L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise, which is very similar in formula to the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir, but this is drugstore, so this is like $10 or something. So I'm gonna lay it on thick. I'm sort of rolling the wand a bit because I really just wanna like really pack on the product and make this like pretty lashy. I don't want it to be like super clumpy and spidery, but I don't mind it if it does do that a little bit. It's inevitable with this mascara, which is part of why I like it. I think I'll stop right around here. And sometimes what happens is as I'm applying mascara on the top layer, it will kind of get onto my bottom lashes on the outer corner. So I really just kind of like gently pull it off while it's still wet from the bottom lashes, just so that it's very cleanly on the top and not on the bottom at all. So there was a time where I wore red lipstick pretty much every single day. And I would ask my roommate at the time, like if I was going on a date, maybe I should not wear a red lip because you know, they're gonna like me more if I'm not wearing a red lip, which is like so funny that I felt that way back then, but I would go on dates and not wear a red lip just for that and be wearing a red lip every other day of my life. I wasn't being myself in those moments. And so here we are doing a red lip.
in honor of all the times that I should have and didn't. Sometimes I like to slightly overline the top lip, just ever so slightly. I kind of did it um, by default right now because I noticed that this side, the edge needed fixing, so I ended up kind of overlining it, and now I'm trying to make it even on the other side. So I think I'm gonna stop here before I end up going crazy with it. Um, but one trick, you know, when you have a lot of lipstick on, you can obviously take a tissue and blot it, but if you're really just in a hurry, this is like gross, but I just kind of quickly do that so that any lipstick that would have gotten on my teeth kind of gets blotted off and quick trick, whatever. I can basically just take this brush that I used for my shadow and just lightly use the tip of the brush to scratch off the little bit of mascara that transferred onto the top lid. I'm gonna end by just touching up my skin a little bit just to make sure everything feels good. I'm not wearing blush right now, which is how I wanna kinda keep it. When you have two complementary or whatever, two contrasting colors happening already. I mean, I have a little bit of like a subtle contour using a slightly darker foundation color. Um, but I just, I don't think I need a full on cheek color. And then just a little bit of powder. This is Laura Mercier Translucent. And I only like to precision powder. Just a little under the eyes, a little bit around the sides of the nose, the chin, and maybe even on the nose a little bit. And that is it. Here's my man repeller Valentine's Day look.